Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuka Throne Ultra. We're jumping in again this time as Elementor, one of my favourite um, classes to play as, one of my favourite characters. And even more so now that Mood Swing exists, I can imagine this being just a whole lot of fun. And our Secret Ultra is not all that hard to get with this character. We literally just have to... Um, we got a, a flare gun, by the way, here. Very, very good, if not the best starting weapon, I think, especially for this character. Um, but all we have to do is grab patience one time, and then we're good to go. That's all we got to do, which I'm very happy about. Uh, but yeah, mood swing. Mood swing is what we're looking for right now. We, we, need, we need mood swing. I think uh, taking plutonium hunger here makes the most sense right now. Um, it just makes life a lot easier makes life a lot easier. But yeah, are many of you playing the good old Nuclear Throne Ultra right now, or are you just enjoying watching it? I know this series has been pretty popular on my channel for a little while now. I'm curious how many of you have watched the uh, watched the series and thought, hey, I'm going to give that a go. I'd be intrigued to know. 33% um, chance cheaper. Okay, I don't really care about his active ability, I'll be honest. I think his active ability is just fine but nothing to uh, write home about. Being able to create walls is, like, interesting, but not something I'm likely to utilize. So I'm not really... It's not really that big for me. But yeah, this this, this weapon with this character is just unreal how good it is. Did manage to get hit there, like. Way what, fella. Two-shot. Two-shot kill, baby. Two-shot kill. Come on, mood swing. You know I want you. Right now, I'm just going to up my damage as much as I can. We got, um, yeah, we got the fists and now glass arm cannon. So all we need now is scarier face and mood swing, and then we've got a heckin' build. But yeah, I've got to take patience at some point, so I can't forget that. I also need to not die here. There is luckily a health chest right there, so we should be okay. Should be just fine. Grab, grab, grab. God damn, this is kind of a, a really large sewer. Normally sewers are pretty goddamn quick to get through. This has been a very, very large sewer so far. We are through there. And we do not want to end up hurting ourselves on these cars here. Very, very easy to do so. Also, I really like um, this skin for this character. I've literally just finished watching a video about magic mushrooms. It just came up on the uh, the Infograph channel, um, like how magic mushrooms affect the body and why they give you hallucinations and stuff. So it's very interesting to watch. Um, and then I'm playing as a literal magic mushroom now. So it all it, it all connects, baby. It all connects. There is a flare gun there, but we've already got a flare gun. Um, there's patience. We'll grab that because none of those are that interesting to me anyhow. Ooh, that was a good little bit of fire you hit on me there. Cheeky boy. Yeah, flare gun or flare gun. I think golden flare gun technically is better. I think all the golden weapons have slightly improved uh, like stats in some way. I think most of them it's just slightly better reload. But as you can see, this, this weapon, even without Mood Swing, is uh, doing an absolute number on these guys. Absolute number. We do not need to change a weapon for a while here. We'll head on through here to see what we can get. Oh, come on, game. Impact wrists, I guess, makes sense right now. Sadly, Mood Swing not coming our way. Scarier face as well, I'd take, but Mood Swing is really what I want right now. And then give me an Ice Weapon. The Fire Weapon right now is good, but give me an Ice one with Mood Swing. That would be uh, unreal how good that would be. <laughs> yeah. But you can see this is just absolute domination. I love it when a character can just have one weapon to begin with and it just carry. Like, absolutely carry. Very much the situation we got going on here. I see you there, sniper. Sword gun there. I'd like a sword gun. Flame shotgun. Also pretty decent. 
Still no mood swing. Uh, we got Hypersomnia. I think I, I think I'll take Hypersomnia to be honest. Hypersomnia is very very good. Much else around here? There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Hypersomnia went from a it's just okay to like. There's a very, very good reason to take it now. It, it might actually be too strong in some scenarios. I can't believe that guy just walked right into me. I kind of didn't think there'd be any explosive ones left, but apparently there's plenty. Apparently there's plenty. Is that it? Yeah, there you go. Damn. Game's being rude to us right now. I'll definitely take that, though. We should be dead in a few shots here. Easy peasy. Right, now, while we've got Hypersomnia, we can take real advantage of taking out a ton of enemies here. Because we've got such range, and then with Plutonium Hunger, we don't have to worry about missing out on all the rads, really. A lot of ability to uh, to cheese levels with uh, a good bit of Hypersomnia here. We be good? No, that big guy didn't actually take any damage. Beautiful stuff. I don't know, I don't know why those guys get stuck sometimes. The, the, the big dogs that chase you. Kind of like it was running at me, but kind of looked like he got stuck. Oh, I got hit by a car there. Not good. Not good, but we did pick up some health there, so we're okay. That front, lovely. My goodness. Frost Axe. Da How dare you not give me mood swing after all this time? This is this is so rude. Um, I actually don't know what I want out of these. I'm going to go with extra feet, I think. Um, we'll go with swarm on this. Please give me it next level. I've only got one level remaining game. We've only got the one level remaining. Okay, we got Mr. Mr. Jumpy Man. Luckily, he does spawn in sleeping, so we can get some good damage on him before he does anything. Good enough to kill him, actually. Oh, this is just beautiful. I love this weapon. I love this character. Elemental damage is the best. But I, 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 I just... Mood swing, my sweet, my sweet darling. Where are you? We got Adrenaline Rush at least. I like, Adrenaline Rush is one of the new musicians that I absolutely love. I, th I think it might be tiny bit overtuned, but oh. I'm a little worried that I could easily die with my current amount of HP. Only having seven isn't ideal, obviously. Take care of the, the green bats before they get a chance to do anything. She isn't actually too hard, they have very, very little HP. We good? No, nope, there's police coming in. There's more green bats. How is there so many green bats on the stage, man? We are level 9 now at least. Last chance for mood swing. You know you've got it in you. Where's our last enemy? We haven't even changed weapon yet. I mean, I've not actually found anything that I want to change to. It's not It's not just because I wanted to stick with this weapon for some weird reason. It's like, literally, I've not found anything better yet. Right, level 9. Didn't get mood swing, unfortunate. But we did get scarier face, which is very good nonetheless. And should vastly increase our damage output. We do have to get ready for the big bat here. I'm trying to clear out an area. This thing should do mad damage to him, though, so it's fine. In fact, I think, like, four or five shots and he'll be dead, to be honest. If I can hit him, that is. There you go. Not a problem at all. We all good? Yes. Okay, almost level, uh, level ultra. Okay, the big dogs take about four shots. More than I was expecting, but understandable. Oh god, I did not see you guys there. Do not let me die here, that would be tragic. 
would be really stupid. Chess needs to get out of the way. Get out of here. One. Oh, well, that, that, that one shot him. So honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I think that was something to do with uh, thing either having um, scary effects. There you go. Your active changes into wind push. Wind push projects, uh, pushes projectiles and enemies. Enemies hit a wall and take more damage. Uh, thrown but makes the wind stronger. Interesting. It's actually pretty good to have this with um, Hypersomnia because we can utilize it while the enemies are asleep. Good. We can try and push enemies away with it as well that are getting a bit too close. It seems pretty strong overall. I mean, 32 damage. Not bad at all. I mean, they've got a really good damage setup, so it is doing more damage than usual. But even still. Beautiful stuff. Right. Get out of here. Cool. Okay. We can change over our crown now, which is kind of nice. We can take explosion on this. Why not? Right. What crown do we want to go for now? Don't actually know. What the hell? Oh, that's the reincarnation crown. I always forget about that one. Um, I guess we'll go with resources fade faster, considering we've got uh, plutonium hunger. But now we can actually hold two weapons, which is kind of nice. Right now, we don't really need two weapons. Right. Get a load of this, you fool. I can destroy projectiles with my air push as well. Very nice to know. In fact, I've, I've, it's probably worth just holding down my air push all the time. I don't know why I wouldn't. It's kind of amazing. Beautiful stuff. Okay. We'll see how long we can last here. See if we can get some good stuff going on. Shouldn't have too much of a problem with this guy. I like to hit him a bit more. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. I actually just insta-died there. Anyhow, we'll roll that back because I want to get... Um, I want to get thingy anyways. Mood swing. But good, good that we got that ultra so quickly. Yeah. I want mood swing with this thing. And I will not be denied it. That was that was actually really bad. I don't, I don't want to do that. Because I just missed out on so many rads. Can we just police? Can we please just chill for a minute? Oh, can we just chill for a minute? I just want to get through to that goddamn next floor. Why don't I have plutonium hunger already? There you go, that's better. Right, um, I think we probably want to take this early on. Especially when we're only using one weapon currently. This level should hopefully be kind of a piece of piss, as long as we're a little careful about the exploding shot. Can I put any hunger back, please? Hand shotgun. Oh, hand cannon. Flame shotgun, there you go. I don't think flame shotgun's better than the flare gun, to be honest. I really don't. Um... Open mind is just good for leveling and good for finding better weapons. Why not? Level four, they're beautiful. And it's create a wall that you can't get past the fire. <laughs> it's amazing. So many chests, holy shit. Still no better weapon. <laughs> um, don't think that affects anything we've got right now. 
I guess we'll go a rabbit paw then. I could try and go through here. That could be interesting, get double crown, but I don't think I think it's a little early yet. Careful of the police here. I mean, the, the police here are honestly the smallest threat in this stage. The Kraken gun, very, very nice here. Pretty amazing work from the Kraken gun there. We like it. Unfortunately, I will not be keeping it for this time. Mood swing. Finally, you're here. Okay, so now we've got AoE absolutely on lock. Luckily, we can burn poison here, so most of the poison isn't a problem. Doesn't mean this area isn't still a bit risky. Much here. Auto, shotgun, everything else went through the portal. Um, plutonium hunger is just too good not to take. Nope, nothing there. Okay, the, the big gorilla boys hit me a lot. So let's be careful of them. I actually don't know. I was just about to say I don't know the best way to dodge them. I actually don't even know what hit me there, I'll be honest. That's a shame because we were we actually got mood swing there and I wanted to get some other stuff to make it truly pop. I want I wanna get mood swing plus a frost weapon. That's what I want to get. I think this character plus mood swing and a frost weapon could be insane. <laughs> so far we will take everything to a fiery, fiery grave. Right off the bat there, lovely. Okay, now we truly get to see the power. Unfortunately, I'm still taking damage because I'm a numbskull. Amazing. Straight on through. I, get, I, like, I genuinely, genuinely think there's, there's almost no time ever to not take the turn hunger on this mod. It's, it's so unbelievably good. I think I'm going to die here. Oh, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. Just less missed out rads. Ammo is easier to get. Health is easier to get. It just makes everything better. Um, absorbing? Go with that. Don't have to risk my life anywhere near as much to get rads that are uh, lying around. Still yet to find better weapons, though. Um, second stomach, maybe? Doesn't seem like the best fit, but... Health-wise, it'll make us a little, uh, a little safer. Maybe, like, maybe adrenaline would be the next. Uh, what's it called? Is it adrenaline? Can't remember the name of it now. The one that lets us fire quicker if we damage enemies might be the next thing to take. A oh, trigger finger is what I'm thinking of. I do want the adrenaline brush as well, but trigger finger is the one I'm thinking of. Um, there you go. I'm just thinking we kill so many things, it might be good to be able to let off a lot more shots. Beautiful stuff. Gonna rapid fire into a group of enemies and just see what happens. Most of the time, they all die. <laughs> Up to level 7 already here. Again, don't, not really sure what to take here. I guess I take Rhino Skin for the safety. Try and stay back a little bit. Don't let the police get in our way. Oh, okay, we opened that up already. Ah, oh, I missed on what, what some rads there. I think it's probably time that I go to the courtyard. Why not? Yeah, don't sit on the wall there, dude. Not gonna, not gonna do you no favors. This is intense. I don't actually really know what's going on here. Some of these enemies are uh, still kind of unknown to me, so I don't know what I'm fighting. I know these guys can block shots. I saw that then.
Frost Telepather. Take that for now. Luckily with the fire damage, they're not really blocking much. Good, good. There's one, I guarantee it's one of the crow enemies chilling over here. Oh no, it's police. Just a bunch of police. Get out of here, police. Um, Kind of a tricky one as well, to be honest. Go with the Serene Dreams, maybe. See if that's useful. But yeah, I think at the start of the stage, we really want to be keeping our distance and just sort of firing off a bunch of fire shots and seeing what we can do. Remember, this guy's going to spawn a bunch of crowns that are going to go nuts and do a bunch of crazy shit. <laughs> Absolutely go nuts. So that's why I've got the Serene Dreams on, because it means that if there's anything behind me or random shots that I don't expect, I've got a better chance of taking care of them. Okay, so is, is this just like automatically inverted the area? Is that what happened here? Level 9 already. Another one of you up here. I really, really, really don't like that attack. I think it's really bullshit. And actually, Serene Dreams is making it significantly harder right now. Yeah, that, that attack, I feel, is almost entirely unfair because he just does it so f***ing often. Just chill. I can't even... I don't even know where you are to shoot you if I wanted to. Just chill out. And then you do this. How is anyone meant to path read? Nah. Nah, man. I'm, I'm, I'm calling the dev out. Please. Make... I, that, that attack's fine. Just add a cooldown. Just make it so they can't do it back to back to back to back to back to back to back. Because you literally can't even hit them while they're doing it. I don't think it's... Just make it so there's like a three second minimum cooldown before they can do it again or something. It's just, it's just utter chaos. Either way, hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one.